I decided years ago that I'd like to build a home. I decided on doing a new build very specifically because I grew up in an older home. I want a new home where once it's built, you don't have to put a lot of time and energy into it and it will last for decades as is. I really wanted to build a home that was energy efficient and I wanted something that once everything went into the mortgage that I didn't have huge monthly expenses. I'm close to retirement so I want something I can afford to live in when I retire. The home that I lived in before moving here in the village um, was similar in size. The cost of the oil there was four to five hundred dollars a month and the cost here I'm hoping will be most definitely under 30 a month. So a huge difference in cost. The geothermal unit is more than just a regular heat unit you might put in your house, but what you save per month is huge in comparison to what you'll spend if you put another kind of unit in. And I might have spent a little bit more on it to put it in over a regular furnace and you know, oil or propane or whatever else I could have used. Um, but oh my God, the long-term effects are so immensely beneficial. Absolutely, I wouldn't make any other choice. There's definitely an advantage to knowing you're going to use geothermal when you're creating the build. Putting it in as the build was going on and talking to them before we even broke ground was awesome because they could have some input as to what would work best and where to place it and, and where the vents could go. So that helped in terms of designing the house. If you're going to build a new home, um, talk to the geothermal installers as early as you can. There's a lot of things that make this home energy efficient. In regards to the insulation in the house, um, out of the different levels that I could choose, I chose the second one, which was more cost effective, but I still have about an R factor of 40 in the walls and an R factor of 60 in the ceiling. So it works pretty well and it's very, very tight. When the builders were here, they said, you're gonna heat this place with a candle. And I thought, mm, probably not a candle. Um, extra insulation in the basement, in the walls, and in the ceiling. Um, Blow-in that's closed-celled, open-celled. We used a three-inch um, foam board that went all the way around the basement. I ended up putting an HRV in uh, for air exchange because they were worried there wouldn't be enough fresh air in the house because it was sealed so tightly. And also the passive solar design of the house. We don't get a lot of sun here, but I thought when we do get sun, I wanted the passive solar to be available in terms of the overhangs that you have on each floor, what lets the most sun in in the winter and not sun in during the summer, and the windows, which are energy efficient through Marvin. And part of what I've done in the system here is put in two water tanks. So the excess energy that comes out of the geothermal unit heats the first water tank. So the water is much warmer when it goes into my hot water tank. So it really saves a little bit more energy use. I plan to install solar this spring when the ice goes off the roof, <laughs> um, which should supplement the electric that's being used right now. Heat Smart Central New York was one of the first organizations I spoke with. It was awesome, a not-for-profit, great with education, gave in the names of a couple different companies that were great with geothermal. Part of it was meeting with people and talking to other people on how best to design a home. So I just felt like somebody had my back, like somebody could give me viable information that they had spent time researching of which companies were excellent in the field. Number one is creating a build that hopefully benefits the earth somewhat or doesn't damage it. It's beneficial. It's not just about me with the ambiance of what I put in each room. It's about it, how it was designed and that it's beneficial to our earth. I would say this house will be here for hundreds of years. That's the build that I wanted and that I created. The ground loop is supposed to last for 50 years or more and the heat pump at least 30 and frequently can last longer than that. For my kids or anybody else who moves into this house, will save immensely on a month-to-month -month basis. I wake up every morning and I, I almost pinch myself and I'm like, I love my home. I love my home. <laughs>